1981 is a year of unparalleled excitement in the auto industry. There's the new front-wheel drive Escort, Ford's new world car. The K-Cars, Aries and Reliant, heralded to be the foundation of the new Chrysler Corporation. And there are the imports, solid competitors in this field, with such high-volume sellers as Datsun 210, Honda Accord Hatchback, and Toyota Corolla Deluxe Liftback. And all have been introduced with a barrage of advertisements and claims of quality, price, room, and fuel efficiency. These are the cars that are competing with Chevette, the best-selling small car in America. And Citation, America's best-selling front-wheel drive car. Today's buyer is looking at Chevette and Citation and comparing the others to them. And the buyer will want to know what Chevrolet's advantages are. You'll have to make your value advantages visible. And that means knowing the competition and how they stack up against Chevrolet. We have the two most successful cars in the hottest part of this field, Chevette and Citation. That's where the competition is aiming their products. Nationally, we're the leader, and they're coming right at us. So let's put this competition to the test, beginning with the newest entries in the field. Aries and Reliant are being advertised as all-new, all-American front-wheel drive cars. Fuel efficient, small, yet with room for six passengers and their luggage. For purposes of our comparison, we'll use this Aries. Citation is also all-American and has front-wheel drive. And it's a proven performer. There are more than one-half million citations on the road today. More than six billion miles have been logged in the car. We know it works. And it works against the K-cars. One of the K-cars advertised strengths is room for passengers and cargo an important consideration of buyers. But Citation has the value edge here with the versatility of hatchback design. It has both the people and cargo carrying capacity that's only rivaled by station wagons. With the rear seat up, Citation can handle more cargo than K-Car. Room for these 13 bags of groceries. Using the same grocery bags, only 10 will fit in the Aries trunk. And look what happens when you try to close the trunk lid. Citation's cargo area is also more usable. It holds large, bulky items. A lot of the trunk space here is obtained by this deep spare tire wheel well. It's an odd shape difficult for storing a large piece of luggage. Citation offers another advantage that should be pointed out to your customers. Additional room by simply folding down the seat. That adds almost 22 cubic feet of cargo area. K-Car advertises room for six. And of course, Citation is rated for five adults. In fact, the EPA interior volume indexes are about the same. 96 in K-Car and 95 in Citation. That means that the size of the passenger compartment, how much overall room there is, is about equal. Yet K-Car is rated for one more passenger. In the rear seat, K-Car and Citation are pretty much an equal trade-off. Both can seat three in the back about as comfortably. The difference is up front. Here, K-Car is rated for three adults, and Citation is rated for two. Yet, both are almost equal in dimensions. In fact, Citation has over one-half inch more shoulder room. When we examine their claim for seating six adults, well, how practical is it? Is it really comfortable seating? Chrysler heavily advertises K-Car as K-Quality Last. But on a close examination, you'll find Citation a step ahead here, too. Citation has been designed and engineered with attention to quality details, some that are lacking on K-Car. Citation's advanced computer command control system continually adjusts the car's performance under all operating conditions. And the system is self-diagnostic. It tells the owner when it needs attention. And through this diagnostic connector, it informs the technician 
of what needs attention? A very remarkable feature, and one that can save the owner time and money. KCAR has a computerized system. It controls only two engine systems, two less than Citation's computer command control system. And it's not self-diagnostic. Here are some other examples of what we mean by attention to detail. Citation offers a maintenance-free battery as standard equipment. KCAR has a conventional battery, which is not maintenance-free. Look at the roof drip rail on Ares. It doesn't do the job. Whereas the roof drip rail works on Citation, channeling water away from the passenger. And notice that the glass area on Ares is less than that on Citation. In fact, Citation has 30% more total glass area than Ares. And that provides a greater feeling of the outdoors. Here's another example. Aries oil pan is the lowest point of ground clearance. It's exposed to obstacles on the road. On the other hand, Citation's oil pan is above the frame. Now, let's look at another important consideration, fuel economy. KCAR has a federal EPA estimated mileage of 25 and an estimated highway of 41. In California, KCAR's EPA estimated mileage is 24 and its estimated highway is 39. Both are less than the federal numbers. Citation's federal and California mileage estimates are the same. An EPA estimated miles per gallon of 22 and estimated highway of 35. That's admittedly less than KCAR. But let's consider this on an operating cost basis using KCAR's federally estimated mileage of 25 and Citation's EPA estimate of 22. For 15,000 miles of driving with gasoline at $1.30 per gallon, the estimated annual fuel cost for the KCAR driver is $780. And for the Citation driver, it's $887. That's an annual difference of $107. But when the manufacturer's suggested retail price is examined on a comparably equipped basis, that $107 difference disappears. In fact, Citation has a price advantage. You've seen KCAR advertised at $5,880. That's a special stripped-down model, a price leader. It doesn't have many of the features of the next higher-level KCAR. And option availability is very limited. So, Citation's real competitor here is the next higher level K car, the Custom. Both cars are close in base price. Citation is $6,270 and the K car is $6,315. That's a Citation advantage of $45. And Citation has many standard features that aren't included in the K car base price. In fact, to bring the K car up to the level of Citation, the K-Car buyer has to add maintenance-free battery, bright rocker panel moldings, dual front radio speakers, vinyl bench seat. So, on a comparably equipped basis, after adding body side molding and front and rear bumper rub strips to Citation, the K-Car buyer actually has to pay more than the Citation buyer. Please note that the manufacturer's suggested retail prices in the western states may vary. In some cases, Chevrolet's price advantage may vary depending upon your location. Now, let's look at the other new domestic entry in this competitive field, the Ford Escort. Even though it's rated a compact, Escort is Chevette's principal competitor. Let's see how our tough son of a gun does against the new world car. Chevette is the small car sales leader in the U.S. It has traditionally appealed to the consumer concerned with economical, practical transportation. And it's tough. There are over 1,300,000 Chevettes on the road today. We have a strong value story in fuel economy, performance, packaging, the combination of appointments, cargo area and operating ease, quality standard value features, and price. And we have the added value of the four-door Chevette for versatility and convenience. A four-door Escort is not available. You'll see in the ads that Escort's federal EPA estimated mileage is 30 miles per gallon and 44 estimated highway, 
with its 1.6 liter engine and four-speed manual transmission. Those figures apply to escorts without power steering and air conditioning. Federal escort stickers carry EPA estimated mileage of 28 and estimated highway of 44. On the other hand, Chevette's sticker states a federal EPA estimate of 30, two more miles per gallon than escort, and a lower but still impressive 39 highway. In California, the mileage story is similar. Both Chevette and Escort have the same EPA estimated mileage of 28. Escort's estimated highway is 44 compared to Chevette's 37. Many buyers perceive front-wheel drive as necessary for high gas mileage, and Ford has spent a lot of time and money in developing this drivetrain. But they've only been able to bring Escort up to the level of Chevette's estimated 30 miles per gallon and Chevette's larger 12.5-gallon fuel tank versus Escort's 10-gallon tank enables the Chevette driver to go an estimated 95 miles further on a tank of gas. And in California, the Chevette driver has an estimated driving range of 70 miles more than Escort. Ford heavily promotes their sophisticated front-wheel drive suspension system for decisive maneuverability and driving comfort. But Chevette also has a sophisticated suspension system with rack and pinion steering, standard front stabilizer bar, and radial tires. We tested Chevette and Escort through the pylons and found no noticeable difference between the two in lean or sway. We also tested Chevette and Escort in this turning circle test. We found that even though wheelbase and overall length are about equal, Chevette turns a tighter circle, a desirable feature for parking in tight places and for city driving. Ford claims a high level of interior appointments and standard features. However, you'll find that our Chevette hatchback coupe has a strong value advantage here. Inside contrasts the sporty look of Chevette with the Spartan look of Escort. Now, let's compare cargo areas. Notice Chevette's polished look and contrast it to Escort's unfinished appearance in the cargo area. There's a reason for that look. According to EPA, Escort has a greater cargo capacity than Chevette, 30 cubic feet with the rear seat down, compared to Chevette's 27 cubic feet. You'll find that a lot of Escort's cargo rating was obtained by leaving these areas exposed, giving the car the necessary room for its compact rating. But it's not very practical cargo space. Also note the exposed wiring, which further adds to the unfinished appearance. Now, if the Escort buyer wants a more finished look, the top-of-the-line GLX option has to be ordered for more than $1,300. Included in this package are panels to cover these open areas. When these panels are in place, they reduce the cargo space and make it about equal to Chevette with its subcompact rating. Let's examine the cargo areas more closely. Notice the steps necessary to fold down Escort's rear seat. Escort's seat doesn't lay flat and makes loading cargo difficult. Also, the edge of the cover protrudes and could be easily damaged. Let's illustrate these points with a common 40-inch trunk. It won't fit this way. Because of Escort's narrow opening, the trunk must be loaded lengthwise. Now, let's compare that to Chevette's. In contrast to Escort, folding Chevette's rear seat down is a simple operation. You'll notice the seat folds flat and locks down, providing a flat load floor. And because of Chevette's wider opening, that same 40-inch trunk fits widthwise and slides easily into place. As you've seen, Chevette's cargo area design is practical and convenient, well suited for today's buyer. A traditional appeal of Chevette has always been a good value for the price. And this year is no exception, whatever the competition. 
Escort's base price of $5,158 is about $100 less than Chevette's hatchback coupe at $5,255. But let's talk about overall value. Chevette has more standard features, some that aren't available at all on Escort, like computer command control system, flow-through ventilation for draft-free circulation of outside air, torque converter clutch on automatic transmissions. Now let's compare price on an equalized basis based on manufacturer's suggested retail prices. Both cars are equipped with optional steel-belted white-striped radial tires. The escort buyer must purchase these options to bring his car up to the level of Chevette. Bumper rub strips and guards, color-keyed seat and shoulder belts, reclining front bucket seats, body side moldings, and center console for an additional $272. So on a comparably equipped basis, even after adding halogen headlamps to Chevette, the escort buyer actually pays $86 more for his car. And for the price shopper, the scooter is available at a base price of $4,695. We've looked closely at Escort and Chevette, and we've found that Chevette is a tough competitor. In fuel economy, a federal EPA label advantage of two more miles per gallon, and equal in California. In packaging, a higher level of interior appointments and a convenient, easy-to-use cargo area in standard features and in price. A better overall value on a comparably equipped basis. Chevette, one of the best values on the road. It's one tough son of a gun. A car that's right for today's buyer. Let's see how Chevette value stands out against some other solid competition, the Japanese imports. Toyota Corolla, Datsun 210, and Honda Accord are Japan's hottest sellers. In fact, many buyers think these imports are in a class by themselves when it comes to gas mileage. And gas mileage is a major concern today. Let's see how Chevette compares. Chevette, with a federal EPA estimated 30 miles per gallon and 39 highway, is equal to Datsun and about equal to Toyota. Chevette gets three more miles per gallon than Honda's estimated 27, and three more than its 36 highway. In California, Chevette's mileage estimates are equally impressive. So you see, Chevette ranks right up there with the best of these imports. The Japanese imports have a reputation of being well equipped with a wide array of standard features. but. Chevette Hatchback Coupe is a tough competitor here, too, with a long list of standard features, including engineering innovations like computer command control, high-energy ignition, maintenance-free battery, visible ball joint wear indicators, disc brake audible wear sensors, built-in engine electrical diagnostic connector, and front stabilizer bar. Another major concern of the buyer is room. Your prospect is looking for a car that's small on the outside and big on the inside, with enough room for four and their cargo. And here's where Chevette value really stands out. Although Chevette is actually shorter in overall length, it has more room for cargo and passengers. Let's see how much more. According to the EPA interior volume indexes, Chevette has 79 cubic feet of interior space. Toyota, with 75, has four cubic feet less. Datsun, with 72, has seven cubic feet less. And Honda, with 77, has two cubic feet less. Let's translate that into passenger comfort. Chevette has more front headroom and legroom than Toyota, Datsun, and Honda, and more rear hip room and legroom than Datsun and Toyota. Not only does Chevette have more passenger room, but it also has more room for cargo. With the rear seat down, Chevette has 27 cubic feet of usable cargo space. Toyota has 3.8 cubic feet less, with 23.2. Datsun, with 25.1, has 1.9 cubic feet less. And Honda's 21.6 cubic feet is 5.4 cubic feet less than Chevette. Another concern of the buyer is operating expense. How much it will cost to maintain and service the car. 
Chevette has value advantages here with longer recommended maintenance intervals. For instance, it's recommended that the Chevette owner change the automatic transmission fluid and filter at 100,000 miles. Compare that with Honda Accord's recommendation to change the fluid and filter at the first 7,500 miles and then every 45,000 miles. It's recommended that Chevette's spark plugs be changed every 30,000 miles. The recommended interval for changing Toyota Corolla's plugs is twice as often, every 12 months or 15,000 miles. Chevette has hydraulic valve lifters, which do not require periodic maintenance. On all the imports, valve lifter maintenance is recommended. On Datsun, at the first 1,000 miles and then every 15,000 miles. On Toyota Corolla, every 12 months or 15,000 miles. For Honda Accord, every 15 months or 15,000 miles. On the road with Chevette, the owner is never far away from Chevrolet. Professional service can be obtained from the more than 5,800 Chevrolet dealers nationwide. It's the largest dealer service network in the world. In the U.S., Toyota and Datsun only have about 1,000 each and Honda, about 750 dealers. We've compared the Chevette hatchback coupe with Toyota Corolla, Datsun 210, and Honda Accord. And we've seen that Chevette is a tough competitor in fuel economy, standard features, room for passengers and cargo, and recommended service intervals, all areas of buyer concern. With all these advantages, Chevette has one more value edge, price. On a comparably equipped basis, Chevette beats them all. Chevette's manufacturer's suggested retail price is $5,255. Toyota's is $5,648. To comparably equip the cars, AM radio is added to Toyota for $105. To Chevette, we add power brakes, steel-belted radial ply tires, electric rear window defogger, and tinted glass. Even after adding these features to Chevette, the Chevette buyer still pays about $187 less than the Toyota buyer. Now compare Chevette and Datsun 210. To comparably equip the cars, power brakes, tinted glass, and electric rear window defogger are added to Chevette for $251. But Chevette, now at $5,506, is still $43 less than Datsun at $5,549. And Chevette not only has a lower price, but it also has these standard features that are dealer-installed extra-cost options on Datsun. AM radio, bumper guards, radial tires, center console, and body side molding. Comparing Chevette to Honda on a comparably equipped basis, we add to Chevette's price steel-belted radial ply tires, tinted glass, clock, and 